You know the video that is making trend, Dr. Creflo Dollar, on the fact that he was wrong, and he said, you know, he was wrong about Titan, and uh, you know, and, and, and when he, when he started the statement, he said, I am still growing. Okay, so that 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 already covers everything. Then he now says, I was wrong about Titan. All right, so everything I have thought on Titan, every book I have written on Titan, on Titan, destroy all of them. Then he now said, religion religion uses two things number one huh? fear and number two guilt that is what religion does and that is why any message on the rapture that is asking you if you are rapturable it is still part of that wickedness it is still in the same segment with titan now we are not saying giving is not good you must understand well, there is no point wasting time explaining something to somebody who has decided to argue. When he receives wato wato, <laughs> his eyes will clear. Did I say it well? I didn't say it well. Eh? Wato wato. The important is there's a what, there's a talk, there's a what, there's a talk. <laughs> the same fear and guilt is what all these proponents of heaven at last are using. The same fear and guilt is what all these proponents of are you rapturable because the whole intent is to drive fear and make you guilty because religion will use fear and guilt to manipulate once you are not afraid nobody can manipulate you once you are not guilty nobody can manipulate you so in order for me to to uh, to, to to make profit and use you as merchandise and use you as a product as a commercial article i must strike you with fear and strike you with guilt then all your defenses are down then i can manipulate you that's what the teaching on titan does because the teaching on titan tells you if you don't pay tithe devourers will come after you the teaching on titan tells you if you don't pay tithe things will be tight the teaching on titan tells you that if you don't pay tithe you know god is against you you cannot be blessed the teaching on titan tells you that your security and protection in life is tied to you paying tight the teaching on titan tells you that even your children and family will not be sick if you pay tight now so they they put fear on you so that even if your car break down what you are thinking of is maybe i didn't pay tight or maybe i didn't pay the tight well so religion must put on you a burden and a yoke that you are not able to bear religion is ever learning and never able to come to the truth nobody says you shouldn't give how can you not give if you are born of god for god so loved the world that he gave how can you have the same nature with god and it will not find expression in deeds of kindness and generosity we do not give because we are manipulated we give because we have grown we give because we have matured we give because we have discovered our identity that within our dna is generosity so we give as responsible children of god for the work of god we give as people who love the people of god to support brethren And certainly, the teaching on tithing, the teaching on tithing has to be totally, totally revamped all over the body of Christ. Because the church is built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets. Jesus himself being the cornerstone. Which means what the apostles didn't teach and what the prophets didn't teach in the book of acts right into the epistles the church of jesus is not supposed to teach it and the church of jesus is not supposed to practice it and brother peter called it a yoke that neither we or our fathers could bear so when you come to the book of acts what you begin to see is the nature of god finding expression 
without anybody teaching people are selling houses people are selling lands people are selling properties and they are bringing the monies and they are laying it at the apostles feet and distribution is made the saints that are poor are taking care of the work of god is taking care of nobody is teaching it because it is in the dna of a man that is truly born of god he doesn't need to be manipulated. No percentages for a believer. We've been saying this for years. And let me tell you the truth. If you are yet to wake up, brother, the day has broken forth. In the body of Christ, step by step, all of these things that they are fighting us for, Jesus will hit them. Their eyes will open. They will apologize. And we forgive them. And we keep pushing the gospel. Welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. I hope everyone is doing just fine. And like usual, we are very, very happy to have you guys here. And we hope that you guys are living your best lives. You guys are making decisions for yourselves. You guys are taking the necessary steps to better up your lives. And you guys are doing things according to your own will and decisions and choices. Because at the end of the day, you are responsible for you. You are responsible for you. Nobody else but you. However your life turned out to be, you are responsible for that. Take note. Like the man of God, Dr. Ebe Damina said, I have always told you guys that, um, in my own opinion, he is one of those leaders who are trying their best to reform the whole Christianity. He is one of those leaders who have realized that it's high time certain things change. It's high time we meet up with our changing times. Like everything do evolve. People do change. Things also change. So our preaching and doctrines must reflect the changing time. It's but simple, right? It's but simple. And uh, he has also said that he is not against giving. And I have told people many times that sometimes I see comment in my comment section and people will be saying that he's against giving, he's against the work of God, he's against the church, he's against God. And I'm like, no, no, no. You guys are mistaken. He is not against God. He is not against the church. He's not against giving. He is not against tithing. He is not against none of these things. He himself has said it. He has a ministry. He needs to run that ministry. And ministry depends on the goodwill of the people, which means that his ministry is only able to run fully or function fully through the help and support of his members. Financially, obviously. He has said that. He has said that. So he cannot be a hypocrite to come saying that giving is wrong, tithing is wrong. No, no, no. His whole take was about how the message of giving and tithing was being preached to people. And according to him, it was a flawed message. It was all a fraud. That the men of God are not telling the truth about giving. The men of God are not telling the truth about fighting. The men of God are manipulative. They are manipulating the members. And that was a crime. That is a scam. That was what he said. But people who are not willing to listen. Like he said, you know, people who have made up their mind have done that already. And uh, 
Sometimes, no matter how hard you try your best to educate them, to re-educate them, to urge them to open up their minds to reasoning, they won't. Because after all, their minds are already made up. They will not change it, which is really sad. Quite sad. Really, really sad. But you guys have to listen. I am urging any one of you out there who is a follower of this channel to please always listen to people with an open mindset. I tell people all the time, right? You don't necessarily have to agree with every single thing I said. You don't necessarily have to do that, you know, but you can at least make an attempt to listen without any bias. You can try your best to receive the message with a pure heart. And after you listen to the message, you can then decide whether or not it's what you want. Two points that most religious people use against their members. The first one is the end time message that hell await you who is not a righteous person. You who is not following God's commandment. You who is not turning away from your sinful ways. And the second one they use is guilting. You are not supporting God's works on earth. How can you call yourself a Christian when you do not support men of God? The Bible said that as Christians, as children of God, we must support God's work on earth. And if you're not doing that, shame on you. That's what they will say. That's how they will give to you. You will be in the church and the man of God will come on the pulpit and guilt everybody. Public shame everyone who is not doing tithing on or offerings or donations. They will public shame all of them. And that's, they, that's what they have been doing. You know, like my papa de Bayo said, anyone who is not paying his tithe is not going to heaven full stop. Now tell me, if you have been brainwashed by someone for many, many years into thinking that they are God's representative on earth and that they communicate with God and they know exactly what God expects of you. If they have told you this thing day in, day out for many, many years now and you believe in them and then they came out to say that if you are not paying your tithe, well, sorry, for you will not go to heaven. What do you think they have done? What do you think they have done to those people who believe in them 100%? They have just public shamed them for not paying tithe. They have just guilted them into paying tithe. That's exactly what they've done. They have just manipulated them into giving their heart and money to the men of God. That's exactly what they've done. Very, very straightforward. But people might think that is such a harmless statement that Papa Adeboye made. Many people think that, but it's not. Because his supporters, hundreds if not thousands, believed in him. And when he says something like this, all of them will listen. They will take heed of it. So first, they manipulate you or they guilt you. And then second, they frighten you. They threaten you. Who in their right minds want to spend their whole eternity in hell? And when a man of God tells you that uh, 
if you are not doing all these things, then sorry, bro, hell awaits you. How would you behave? How would you feel? So, my brothers and sisters, like I have said before, and I will keep on saying, so that people don't misunderstand me, people don't take me out of context, even though I understand that sometimes people who are determined to come against you will always do that. Nevertheless, I will say this. If you are a Christian, please go to church. Please pray for God's mercy on your lives, on my life, and uh, on the lives of the people in our community and in our world. Pray for us to have peace and security in our world. And uh, do giving if you are in a position to do so. If you meet people who are in need of help, help them. Giving is a very, very valuable skill to have. Do giving. If you are in a position to support your church, do so. If you are in a position to support anyone, the needy, the poor, the widow, do so. Do so, my brothers and sisters. Do so. It's very, very important you do. But I will just ask for one small favor from you. Understand the reason for which you are doing whatever thing you are doing. Understand that giving to people will not multiply your worth, but rather will make you receive blessings from heaven. And blessings are a spiritual gift, not a physical gift. Okay? So understand these two different things.